Yo, what is going on guys? We are back for a Battle Factory Live today. I know this is one day late. I'm really sorry. I'd just like to formally apologize for that. This was supposed to be out yesterday, but I had trouble with the recording. Everything was desynced. Uh, I did already do a live, obviously, as you can tell, but I had to scrap it because it wasn't good enough. So there goes that, but we're going to record another one today and uh, hopefully get a, good, a couple of good battles. If you were wondering, we, we, we went two and two yesterday, so uh, or what was supposed to be yesterday's episode. So let's just hop into a battle right away. Also, addressing something for tomorrow, uh, the team builder that's going to be out for the UPA is using a mic, because my mic right now, uh, the one that was supposed to be great and it is the mic is still great the headphones don't work anymore the wires messed up so uh, I had to get a new one and the new one isn't as good like the mic just doesn't work as well so you guys are probably gonna notice the uh, the audio quality difference and uh, hopefully I won't use that one ever again if I could just like swap this one's mic to the other headset we'd be golden but it's probably not gonna happen anyway got a battle here are you tier I'm glad I can recognize tears now it's really cool uh, we know the Blastoise is RU, Bronzong is RU, is Cavalier as well, so... Uh, I'm just gonna lead with, uh... What does Bennett have? Knockoff? Yeah, definitely Bennett here. Cool, so he leads him on top, not a great lead for us. Uh, however, he can't really touch us other than with Foresight, so... I'm just gonna get the Mega off, go for a Thunder Wave, we should be faster, I believe, yep. And, uh, he's gonna go for a Toxic, so he's gonna Toxic us. We're gonna switch right out here, do we have a Heal Beller? No, we do not. Uh, but I can pretty safely go into Bronzong now and get up Hazards now that his hit on top is uh, paralyzed and we will be able to get up stealth rocks obviously he can rapid spin them away but we should be faster right now actually than this thing yeah so he goes into scrafty cool cool uh, i'm just going to hard into a scavalier i think is good yep even if he knocks off that's fine uh, he goes for the Dragon Dance, though, so now no move that he hits me with is going to be able to knock me out. And we will more than likely be able to knock him out in return with a Mega Horn if we can connect, which we do not, unfortunately. And uh, I'm going to switch into Manette here on his next high jump kick. Uh, so he misses that, and uh, he's going to take 50% from that, which is great. We are Prankster right now, so what we will do is go for the Destiny Bond. I don't want to mess around with this thing potentially having an, a Lumberry, so we're just going to get rid of it right here. And um, now he doesn't seem to have much that's faster than a Scavalier, so let's just go into it. He goes into Hitman Top, so that's good. And we will go straight for the Iron Head, I believe, and try to Iron Head flinch him down. I think is the play and uh, that does a good amount and he does get flinched there just gonna go for another iron head switches into Agron. it's neutral we actually get a crit there so goodbye him on top rocks are there to stay and uh, we can keep our scavalier honestly it still does uh, some pretty good work uh, especially against this bronzong specifically so here I'm going to switch out into blastoise be able to get a very big scald off on something he goes for an earthquake doesn't do much and uh, we'll be able to scald anything on his team potentially get a burn we already got a crit. Can we get some more hacks in our favor? Maybe. Let's start the timer right here. It's looking like a good game. But yeah, guys, like I said, I'm looking for a better uh, a better headset right now with a mic. Uh, it's really hard to find one that actually has the same audio quality that this one has. Most are really, really bad, which is just terrible. But i uh, got to make do with, uh, with what I can find and hopefully something that's in my budget. Uh, obviously right now I'm still trying to get a new PC, I'm trying to get my 3DS capture carded so it's really difficult. Uh, it's, a, it's a pain that these mics keep messing up on me, but uh, okay, I have to deal with it. So um, Luckily the, this one still works, so I'm, I'm waiting to see when this mic finally gives up on me, but hopefully not anytime soon. So we're able to uh, get rid of the Bronzong right there, there's another threat gone. Well not a threat, but it's just annoying. And uh, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, if I get a little bit of damage off on his Grand Bull, Flygon sweeps with Earthquake. Oh, no, we're defensive. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'm just going to Toxic this thing, get some status on it. If it goes for a Foul Play, that's going to do absolutely nothing. I'm going to be able to Skull this thing down. We should be able to take down the rest of his team from here with ease. Uh, we do still have the x -Plout in the back, so... That Skull did a lot because it's Torrent boosted, and now if he goes for a Sucker Punch, he's pretty much going to hit a wall because I'm going in a Flygon, so. He actually goes for Pursuit, so good play on his part. Um, was he faster than us? No, he wasn't, so yeah, that was a play, indeed. Uh, what is his speed? He is 185, so I'm just going to go into Flygon here, and I'm actually going to click Roost, and I'm going to let the Toxic do its damage because I don't want him to get a Sucker Punch off on me, and uh, hopefully he doesn't go into Grand Bull here, because that could be bad. He goes for the Will-O-Wisp, actually, so good play on his part. I could have knocked him out there, but he read that, I guess. 
and uh, now I'm going to have a little bit of a harder time killing the Agron. Um, I still have Exploit in the back though, it's got Surf I believe on it. Uh, let's see, we do have Surf, okay good. Uh, and I'm just going to go for an Earthquake right here, I just want to get off damage on this thing, I don't care if it play roughs me, that'd be fine. Uh, he goes for play rough, that's cool, it's not going to knock us out actually, and I'm going to switch into Bronzong here, I'm going to keep my flag on, just to get some extra damage on his Agron later. So, Bronzong is, is ultimately safe, it, it doesn't lose me anything. Uh, the only move he can go for to hit me super effective is uh, Fire Punch, so as you can see that play rough does absolutely nothing. And I'll just go for the... I'll actually go for the Trick Room right here, because we'll be faster that way. He goes for Roar, so <laughs> that actually out-prioritized me. I'm going to go for Boom Burst right here. Does a lot, knocks him out, goodbye. We're Life Orb, I thought we were Specs there for a second. But uh, obviously that was enough to take him out, because uh, Grand Bull's Special Defense is, is nothing, it's pretty bad. His physical defense is pretty good, but he brings out his Agron. I'm just going to go uh, Bronzong right here. I'm going to hit that Trick Room, and then I'm going to Earthquake this thing, and it's going to be quite effective. Goes for Heavy Slam, does nothing. Actually, I'm just going to Earthquake right off the bat. It's fine. It uh, comes out to the same thing, and uh, that should be a first win for us. I'm actually going to, as soon as this hit goes off, yeah. So as soon as I hit the next er Earthquake, we're going to look for another battle right away. going to make this a little bit of a quicker live. I think uh, we may have already gotten a battle. Well, he forfeits, so he's gone. And uh, I don't know why these ads keep coming up. I might have to turn on ad blocker while I'm doing this, um, because that's uh, it's kind of annoying to have in your live. But I'm not I'm not trying to be sponsored by any of this. Don't get me wrong, guys. So it's taking a while to find another another battle. Actually, the first one was pretty quick. Let's see how many people are uh, are playing Battle Factory, right here. Uh, 25. So a good amount. It's, it's kind of weird. Um, that's fine though. We'll uh, we'll just pause it until we get one, guys. Oh, never mind. We got one. All right, cool. So um, looks like a fat team, man. Other than the Gengar, everything else is really really hard to take down. Uh, but we have a very offensive team with Lumberry, uh, DD Dragonite, uh, Life Orb Latias, Life Orb Gengar, Megalopony, which is actually a pretty safe lead. Uh, does not have the what is this set? High Jump Kick Return Substitute Encore. That's messed up. Maybe it's the counter uh, <laughs> Clefable, I guess. Um, Belly Drum, Azu, and uh, I'm going to lead with Tyranitar because it gets up rocks. He leads with Jirachi, so not the best lead for us, but uh, I'm actually just going to go for the rocks anyway. Even if he decides to Iron Head me, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, he's going to go for it, and he is going to get the flinch, but now I know that he's more than likely Scarfed, so what I'll do here is I'll go into Latias, and we'll be able to eat up this Iron Head quite nicely, actually. Well, never mind. Uh, I don't know what that is. That that did a lot of damage. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, let's just try to fire off a Draco. Okay, so he is scarfed. He does not get the flinch there, so we're able to get a big hit off on him. And now that we know he's scarfed, we can go Dragonite, I guess. Um, does Dragonite just sweep his team? No, because he has a Skarmory. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Azu, and I'm just gonna fire off an Aqua Jet here. Just try to get some supplemental damage on this thing. As he goes for another Iron Head, does a lot. Uh, he's going to pop our Citrus at some point, though, so let's go for another Jet and uh, knock him down to 8. He pops our Citrus right there as we go back up to 43, and now we will go for another Jet. If he switches out into Garchomp or Skarmory, that's a pretty good play. I wouldn't let this Jirachi go down if I were him, but he does, so goodbye. And uh, Lopany puts in a lot of work. Lopany definitely puts in a lot of work against this team. It really depends what his Garchomp is, but it can still do a lot to him. So I think Dragonite lives in Outrage uh, with Multiscale as well. Uh, even if that's Life Orb Chomp, so I'm going to have to check that out, but he's going to go into his, uh, into his Gengar right here. I'm just going to go into Titar on what I'm presuming is going to be a Sludge Wave, as he does go for the Sludge Wave. That does get the poison, unfortunately. Um, I guess he could have Focus Blast. What I could do is switch out into my Gengar. Is he Leftovers? Well, he's Black Sludge, okay. Um, I think Rocks are the most important thing here. He might not have anything to hit us. What's, what's our Gengar set? Okay, we do have Focus Blast on ours. Uh, he is going to switch out, though, because we're Life Orb Gengars, and he's not. So we get our, uh, our rocks up there, break any potential sashes on Chomp, on, uh, I guess, Manaphy. Not on this thing, obviously, but he's more than likely going to go for a close combat here. Um, I'm just going to switch into Gengar. I don't mind losing it and if he doesn't go for the, uh, the close combat. He actually goes for the Rock Polish, so that's a little bit scary. And um, what can I do to counter that? Well, I think I might get rid of Titar here, go back into it, now that I know he's Rock Polish. Yeah, I'm going to go into Titar. 
on what I'm assuming, yeah, Stone Edge, there we go. And now what we'll do is we'll go Dragonite. We'll go for the Earthquake, try to damage this thing as much as possible, as this Stone Edge does not kill us because thanks to the scale. And we get this thing down to 7%, which is great. That means E-Speed is going to be able to take it out, and there we go. Goodbye. Now, we did let our <laughs> Dragonite get weakened, unfortunately. And he still has the Skarmory, but we still have our Gengar at near full, so this is looking pretty good. As long as his Garchomp is in Scarf, we should be okay. And uh, we still have Lopany too, so... He goes into Manaphy, though. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Dragon Dance in case he decides to Tail Glow, which he does. And uh, now we're just gonna fire off a huge Outrage right here and knock out his Manaphy. And now he pretty much has to go into Skarmory because I outspeed everything else, so... If his Skarmory is not carrying an offensive move, we can still uh, outplay this thing. Till uh, till next year, because we are alum, we will cure off the po the uh, not the poison, the confusion, and he goes for whirlwind. So good play on his part. I'm just gonna go for the encore right here, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna go for encore and lock him in a whirlwind, and basically be able to get off hits with everything from this point on. He goes, uh, he brings me into Azumarill, so I'm gonna knock off. He might just stay whirlwinding, which he does. Get rid of his leftovers right there. He's gonna whirlwind again. Gonna be shot out into Dragonite, and I'm gonna go for the Outrage because he's gonna whirlwind us anyway. And uh, hopefully we get into Gengar right here. As we do not, we get into Azumarill, unfortunately. Uh, I'm just gonna go back into Lopany, I think, here. It's fine. As he goes for the Roost. So now I'm going to Encore him again into Roost. Just uh, waste some Roosts. And we'll go for the Switch into Gengar here. As he is now locked into Roost. Uh, he actually chooses to switch out into his own Gengar, which is interesting. He might not be max speed, so I'm just going to fire off a Shadow Ball and really hope that we win a speed tire or are faster, and we do, so we get rid of the Gengar. And now his Skarmory doesn't have its sturdy anymore, so he forfeits, and that's pretty much it for that one. And uh, we might be able to finish this up, uh, I always say that, but <laughs> we might be able to finish this up within like uh, 20 minutes or so, so that's pretty good. Shorter videos are always nice. Increased retention time, you know? So, uh, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun uh, playing Pokemon, man. I love I love recording these vids, honestly, even though I can't hear myself in, in my headset right now. Actually, you know what? Let me move this piece right here, and uh, we should be good. I can hear myself now, so it's a lot better. And there we go. So I'm going to pause it um, for real on this one, guys, until we get one. Be right back. All right, guys, and we got one, and... Um it's a pretty fat UU team this time. We have Haxorus, though, so we can break through his entire team. Ooh, Taunt Swords Dance. Interesting. All right. Um, just got to weaken the uh, the Oro Matisse, and we should be good to go. What are we? We're Choice Scarf Mian Shao. Yes. Love it. All right. Cool. So that means we outspeed Crobat. Able to go for a Stone Edge or a U-turn on it, depending on the situation. This is a very offensive team. I like this. Let me actually check out the sets, because I don't do that enough. Ooh! Our Kingdra's back, man! Yes! Alright, this one doesn't need a pass from, uh, from Scallopede. It's just got everything that it needs. Focus, energy, agility, and you win the game. Uh, as we know, Kingdra beats Blissey, because Blissey just misses Toxics anyway, so... Uh, Crocodile's a pretty good lead as well. Uh, but I'm just gonna leave Mean Shao. Uh, because, or Mine Shao, as I just recently discovered, that's what it's called. Uh, we are reckless. I wonder how much poison jab actually does. Uh, not gonna test that right now though. I'm just gonna go for a U turn. He's actually gonna protect, which is fine. I'm going to U turn anyway. And, uh, he probably knows that we're scarfed, I guess. It's more than likely scarfed anyway. Most of the time, Mean Shell's scarfed. It's either like Life Orb, uh, Reckless, uh, no, right, Life Orb, uh, in, excuse me, Regenerator, and, uh, or it's scarfed Reckless, so. He's gonna stay in there, obviously. I'm gonna go into Tentacruel, it's my best play. As he goes for Moonblast, does 12, so nothing, basically. Just gonna go for the Toxic Spikes here. He does have his own Tentacruel, but if I can poison the Crocodile and the Aromatisse before that thing comes in, that would be great. And we do have two checks to Tentacruel being, uh, Haxorus and crocodile so as long as our crocodile is faster uh, which it doesn't seem to be but I'm just gonna go for the knockoff here get rid of this thing's item he might do the same as he does gets rid of our black sludge we're gonna get rid of his and now we're gonna play the who can burn first game <laughs> let's see this is uh, battle of the hot water as he goes for his scald uh, he does get the burn and so do we okay <laughs> so that was quick and now I'm just actually gonna keep spamming toxic spikes at this point because if at any point he uh, he rapid spins, which he does there. Uh, we'll be able to keep getting up spikes, and we're about at the same amount, so I'm just gonna keep spamming them. 
until uh, until we die, basically. And that is going to happen at some point. So, pretty much, uh, as long as we don't live on 1% from the burn, I think we're good. He goes for his own Tox Spikes there, so... I'm actually going to switch out into Aerodactyl right here. Because I want to be able to absorb the Toxic Spikes myself. As he chooses to go for a Rapid Spin, which is great. He gets a crit there, but that doesn't matter. It still did 1.9. And uh, we'll be able to go for an Aerial Ace right here. Mega Evolve and go for Aerial Ace. And we can bring in our Tentacruel to suck up the Toxic Spikes later. So we got his, his Tentacruel weakened, which is extremely important. Because we will get up Rocks later and he won't be able to get rid of them. It's going to really help with the Honchkrow and the Crobat. So he's going to switch into Crocodile. Good play on his part. Going to hit it up with an Aerial Ace. Does relatively nothing. And uh, now I'm going to... Now I think I'm just going to go back into Tentacruel, honestly. Because uh, he's more than likely rocks, I guess. Uh, Could have... Oh, no, he goes for a knockoff. Okay, cool. So, if he's defensive like we are, then we're actually faster. And I'll be able to scald this thing right here. And get off a lot of damage, so... It's looking good. It's looking good, guys. His Tentacruel can't come back in for free. It'll go down to Scald plus Burn, I believe. Nope, not exactly, but we will we'll be able to U-turn on it and knock it out, so... Get initiative right here. Be able to U-turn out. And uh, U-turn should be able to take out Tentacruel. It's coming off of 349 attack, so... He goes into Aromatisse, that's great. We're gonna U-turn on that. And here we're just gonna go into our Aerodactyl and uh, get up a Hone Claws, actually. And see what he wants to do about it. I mean, he can go Crook, but... Again, if his crook is like ours, it can't really touch us. He goes for a wish right there. Uh, I'm actually going to go for another Hone Claws right here. See what he wants to do. He goes for the Moonblast, so he's going to weaken us first. He's going to get a special attack drop, which doesn't matter at all. And, uh, yeah, his Crocodile can't touch us, so I'm just going to go for the Aqua Tail right here. He actually chooses to go into Tentacruel first, which is a good play. Sack that off. And uh, we're not missing Stone Edges or Aqua Tails right now. <laughs> because uh, our attack is up, our accuracy is up, so... We can pretty much knock everything on his team out at this point. Unless he has a Choice Scarfer. I mean, he can do a lot of damage to us, uh, to, us uh, to us with the Haunch Crow uh, with Sucker Punch. But I definitely don't think it takes us out. We have 206 defense, so he's going to go, okay, never mind. That's Life Orb. All right. So, we pretty much have to go into our Crook right here. And he shouldn't have anything to touch us other than Brave Bird. So I'm just going to get up rocks right now because he doesn't have a way to get rid of them anymore. He actually has superpower, so that's going to be able to, to hurt us a lot. Uh, now his attack is down, and I feel like playing off of that and switching into my Kingdra. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm not going to let him get a free Moxie boost right here. He's going to go for the Brave Bird. Wow, that still does a lot. Wow. All right. Uh, how much is his speed? He's slower than us, so I'm going to go for the agility on his sucker. There we go. And uh, now I'm going to go for the Focus Energy on what I'm assuming is going to be another Sucker Punch as he goes for it. There we go. Now I'm actually going to switch out into Crocodile on the next one and lower his attack even further. And now he can go for a Brave Bird, but his attack is going to be so low that it won't even matter. And uh, yeah, I think I... Do I let Crook go down here? Or do I let Kingdra go down? Kingdra's actually got Waterfall, so it can still hit the Blissey uh, with a Focus Energy up and get crits. So I might actually keep it. So I'm just going to go for the knockoff right here. He's going to go for Brave Bird. He's going to be able to knock us out, get Recoil, get Life Orb damage. And he's going to go up to minus one attack at this point. But I can just go into Mean Shao. With his minus one attack, he's not going to do anything with a... Um, with a Sucker Punch, and I'm just going to be able to U-turn right here. And he can only come back in on Rocks once and get one more Life Orb hit, so I'm not worried at all. He's going to probably switch out, I guess. It's his best play. He's going to go for Sucker right here. Uh, he's going to go down, and uh, now we can freely go into what? Into Haxorus and get up a Swords Dance? Uh, I think we live Aromatisse's Moonblast, if I'm not mistaken. Then we can EQ it. Um... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into Haxorus. And basically, uh, Mean Chao is going to have to win us this game with the combination combination of Poison Jab and Knock Off. We'll see how that goes, but I'm going to go for an SD right here. And we'll see how much Moonblast actually does. Oh, it does knock us out. Okay. All right, so I'll go Mean Chao here, and I'll go for the Poison Jab. And he should protect. And if he does, then I might, have to, I might be forced to switch out into our Kingdra. 
He actually chooses to stay in and just go for the Moon Blast, which is a good play on his part because Poison Jab did absolutely nothing. I'm going to have to Waterfall flinch this thing down, and that still probably won't be enough as that does 19, and Moonblast is going to take us out. So we were extremely weak to Fairy right there. I can actually get a fourth battle here. Uh, yesterday, on what was supposed to be yesterday's episode, we went 2-2, two and two, but um, I'm going to try to make it 3-1 and one for you guys today. I'm going to make it just slightly longer. I think we can go up to like 23 minutes, 24. Try to make this a really, really fast one. And again, I'm going to pause it, guys, and be right back. All right, so we got my least favorite tier, uh, being Ubers. But we have a pretty good uh, track record in Ubers, so I'm not too concerned. We actually have a Mega Scizor, which... Ooh, look at his team and look back at Mega Scizor. Now, now look back at his team and look back at Mega Scizor. Oh, man. Uh, but we have Toxic. We don't have Swords Dance, so never mind anything I said. We're going to lead with Kalefki here. It's the best possible lead against this team. Covers the Darkrai lead, covers the Rayquaza lead, the Kangaskhan lead as well. He can fake us out, but we can Thunder Wave right back. Hopefully, he's not Arceus Electric. And uh, that's exactly what we're going to go for, is just Thunder Wave. As he goes for the Mega Evolution, gets the Fake Out off, not going to do much. Going to go for the Thunder Wave here. Going to be able to paralyze this thing, slow it down, or anything else that he wants to go into. Including, well, including the Dark Rye, the Rayquaza. The Rayquaza could be Lum, but if he wastes it now, then I just get to go for another Thunder Wave the turn after. So that's fine. Let's see what he does here. Uh, he might stay in, knowing that he doesn't have a Thunder Wave switch in necessarily so well if we can uh, actually if we can paralyze this thing that's pretty huge there we go all right so we're able to get it off he goes for the low kick that's going to do absolutely nothing once again and now we can start getting up some spikes uh hits four things on his team so that's pretty good he does have a defogger he has actually two potential defoggers being arceus and latias most of the time you'll see it on latias though so let's see what he wants to do here he goes into rayquaza not a problem just going to thunder wave this thing as well might want to go for an Earthquake right here. He might be Lum as well. Uh, he does get fully paralyzed, unfortunately for him. And we should be faster than this thing now and be able to go for a Play Rough and hit it for Super Effective. And uh, this guy's getting angry <laughs> and he forfeits. <laughs> All right. So uh, goodbye, of course, you crit. So just by his name, I can already tell that he gets angry very easily. Didn't look at that before, but that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. We were able to go 3 and 1. Like I said, I was able to keep it under 24 minutes, so hurrah. And uh, again, if you enjoyed, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you want to see more of these lives. If you want to join me on any one of these lives, leave a comment. Hit me up on Twitter. It's in the description right at the bottom of the description. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks again for watching. Ciao.